Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video in Statistics and Probability. Again, this is Sir Neil, and on this video, I will be discussing about our lesson 2 in normal distribution, which is how to use Z-table. So let us know more about what is Z-table. So Z-table is a table which displays all the area of the region under the curve given a Z value. Now, generally there are two types of Z table. So first up is the Z table based on the center. As you see, the image here starts based from the center because the area given by the Z table starts from the center to a particular Z value. Okay? On the other hand, the second type of Z table a commonly used Z table is Z table based from the left. As you see, it starts from the left to any particular Z value here. Actually, since this is the area, this is also the probability of or the area or probability. So please take note that the area or probability here is quite synonyms in this topic that we have. Now, in symbols, this will be look like this. So this area or this area will be the probability of Z is greater than zero, so as you see, greater than zero, but less than A where A here is a particular value of Z. So in this case, the particular value of A is 2. So Z is equal to 2 here. Now, this the symbol for the Z table based from the left will be different. Okay? So, it would look like this. The probability of Z is less than A. As you see, since we have a particular value of A here, and... To the left of this, which is less than, so that would be all the area to the left of this particular value of A, which is equal to 2 in this case. Now, since we already know what is Z table, let us answer the biggest question here, which is how to use the Z table. So the actual using of Z table. So to know how to use the Z table, let us have an example, of course. So suppose we have to find the area that corresponds to Z is equal to 2. So I will be demonstrating now how to use the Z table, both Z tables, based from the left and based from the center. But I will give more emphasis to how to use Z table based from the center since it is actually the Z table provided in your module. On this particular question, find the area that corresponds to Z is equal to 2. So it would look like this on different tables. Please observe that the Z table based from the center, the given area of that is from 0 here to 2 and it's actually there's a big difference between the two you might be wondering that they have different answers yes if we are talking about corresponding area so z is equal to 2 now let us have first this one so to get the corresponding area to z is equal to 2 let us have first Z table base from the center. So, as you see, this is the actual Z table that you have in your module. Okay? So, let us review of what is given. Find the area that corresponds to Z is equal to 2. Okay. Now, if you see, Z table looks like this. Z is on the first column. 
Now, you might be wondering what is this first row. So, if you have 2, your z must be expressed into two decimal places. So, this will be 2.00. To find 2.00, so we have here 2.0. So, 0, 0. So, so, this would be the first. And 0, 0 here, we have 0, 0. Okay, so this will serve as the third decimal place, second decimal place, rather. Okay, so since we have 2.00, so we get this column. So that would be like this. Since that is, this is the intersection, so the value that corresponds, the area that corresponds to z is equal to 2 using z table based from the center is equal to 0 0.4772. Again, is equal to 0 0.4772. Okay? So, we just get that one and put that answer in our, in the question. Of course. So, the answer is 0 0.4772. Seven seven two. So you just answer this one. This one is just to show to you what it means with this area, what this means, or in symbols. So the answer is zero point four seven seven two. Okay. On the other hand, if you use z table based from the left, so this is how to use z table based from the left. Okay. As you see, you have there. All negatives right it's all negative so this is the big difference between z table from the left and z table from the center it has an exact values of negatives so since the given is z is equal to 2 so let us have the next z table from the left which has positive so here, there is. So that would be this one. Z is equal to 2. So that would be 2.00, right? So here is 2.0. So actually they have the same way of how to find. But you might be wondering why they have different answers. So I'll explain later on. So that would be 2.00. So here is the zero zero. So you follow, go down, and that's it. So the area corresponds to z is equal to two is equal to zero point nine seven seven two. Okay. If you use z table based on the left, of course. Okay. So just remember this one, 0 0.9772, so you have 0 0.9772, which is this. So as you see, here, what is the difference between them is this one. Hmm. So this is why this is bigger. It has a bigger area than this. Because the equivalent of this from here to here, the area, the entire area of the normal curve is 1. So the half of it is 0 0.5. That is why if you subtract 0 0.5 to this, 0 0.9772, you get 0 0.4772. Okay? Because that is their difference. Okay? So in your module to answer... The activity you use this one okay the, your given module now let us have another example suppose we have to find the area that corresponds to z is equal to 1.45 so the same the same way if we what is meant by that z is equal to 1.45 it starts from here if we use 
center base z table so from here to 0 to 1.5 okay on the other hand if we use z table base from the left it would look like this okay so we go now to the z table so try to use the z table in your module so let us review what is given so z is equal to 1.45 the area corresponds to that so we look for 1.45 so we take first this one 1.4 so 1.4 here so this is the one yeah now if you observe we have a longer arrow here because we have 1.45 and we're looking for 5 45 so 0 5 so here the second decimal 5 okay so that would be this okay so we get the intersection of that that would be 0 0.4265 okay so as we get that one we remember that and then we go back to our problem so the area of this is equal to okay very good that would be 0 0.4265 okay now the same way with the using z table base from the left so that would be okay z is equal to 1.45 so 1.4 here here is the 1.4 and the 5 is here so that would be that so we get 0 0.9265 okay so we go back to example number two and we put the value of that area so that would be 0 0.9265 okay lastly we have this example so that we could master how to use z table so suppose we have negative this is the tricky part here suppose we have negative and we use z table based from the center and then we have these figures so if we see from the center we go to negative okay and the z table base from the left is from left to this small amount of area here to negative 2.5 okay now i'm actually quite excited with this part because this is the tricky part here so allow me to explain we use the center if you observe we don't actually have here negative value but remember the curve is symmetrical to its center so the value of the given which is negative 2.5 is actually the same to 2.5 because they are symmetrical right so we just look for if we have negative 2.5 here since we don't have negatives here we get the 2.5 so here if we're using z table based on the center okay so we get 2.5 here so that would be it and then since 2.5 we don't have second decimal here so that would be 0, 0.00 so that would be this and we get the value of the corresponding area of z is equal to negative 2.5 which is 0 0.4938 okay so that would be it and then we get the answer here so the area of that is 0 0.4938 so the area from here to here negative 2.5 is the same is 0 to 2.5 as well Okay, because they are symmetrical about its center. Now, if we observe this one, we will be expecting less area. So let us try to see. 
if you see we have negative so we just go on directly of what is the value of b so negative 2.5 we look for negative 2.5 so we have here negative 2.5 and then we have no second decimal so that would be zero zero here so that would be this and this so their intersection would be 0 0.0062 so that would be the area if you use z table based on the math okay so we go back here and we put the value here yeah that would be the answer okay so it, actually how to use z table is quite easy okay you just need to understand what is uh, meant by that z table okay so if you use z table that is always from the center and if you use z table based on the left that is from the left to any particular z score okay so that would be all thank you for listening god bless and keep safe